Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, we've got an absolutely awesome one for you today. Today we're looking at the Elementor Pro Gallery. We looked at the Basic Gallery the other day. And here's the Pro Gallery and it's got so many features, it's unbelievable. As you can see, we've got our content justified here. We've got a little zoom going on on the images. Of course, when you click on an image, it's going to pop out into a light box. And you can scroll through, obviously, like any other gallery. But not only does it have these sort of normal sort of features here, if I go down a little bit, it also gives you opportunity to filter out elements. I've got another little gallery here. Again, we've got the zoom effect. I've got mine justified again, but you can segregate it into filters. So we can have just people, just robots or whatever you have on your site, or just places, or all of them. And it's very, very easy to use. So get, let's get started. I'm gonna create a new page. Yeah, we'll call it my gallery, or whatever you wanna call yours, obviously. I'm gonna go over to the right-hand side for the template I'm going to choose Elementor Full Width. That way we'll just have the header at the top and the footer at the bottom and our content in the middle. And we'll just save that draft. And of course we want to edit with Elementor. So I'm going to hit the Edit with Elementor button. And if we look down here, we've got to roll down our matrix till we get to the Pro. And here's the gallery. Let's just throw it in there. First thing you're going to want to do is select some images. Now at the top here, you can choose whether you want a single gallery or a multiple one like we did earlier on with the filters. We'll start off with a single one, demonstrate the features. Let's go in and grab some images. I'll just select a few, varying different sizes there. Now like any gallery module, you can select them, move them around where you want to by left clicking, dragging and releasing. When you're happy, insert them into your gallery. Now uh, here we have it. It's telling me I haven't got alt text on some of these. You really want to have alt text on your images. If I click on one of these images, select it. That's where you put your alt text in there. It's for people that don't have very good eyesight, use screen readers, and it really should be used for describing the actual image itself. But a lot of people do put keywords and things like that in there. Okay, well, I'm going to ignore that. You can choose to order them by default if you want to, or make a random order. Default, obviously, it's going to lay them the way that you selected them up here. Lazy load's always a good idea. If I roll down, it's only loading those images that are below the fold or not on screen when they're needed. And that's great for helping page load time. Now, layout-wise, you could have grid, well, that we've got here. You can have justified, which is a beautiful one, and puts them all in their shapes that they are, but it'll actually justify it into a nice square or oblong, whatever you like to have yours. I per personally really like that one. But of course you can have it masonry as well, where they sort of drop in, in a masonry fashion, different sizes and things like that. But you usually got a little bit of a, a gap at the bottom there. For me, I really further justified. Spacing, pretty self-explanatory. If you want them all touching, just take that down to the left-hand side there. If you want more space, take it up to the right. I'm going to take that back down to 10, I believe. That works fine for me. Now, if you select media file, you can have these pop out into a light box. If you select custom URL, when they click on one of these images, you can put a URL in there. And this is for the whole gallery, not for individual images. So I'm going to leave mine on media file. And I'm going to select Lightbox. Yes. Now I'm sure you know, but when you click on it now, it'll pop out into the larger version. That's a light box for you. Great. Well, let's get back into our little gallery here. Now at the moment, the resolution's fine for those images. It's 300 by 300, but if they appear a little bit blurry to you, you can up the resolution a bit. Let's take it to medium and you'll probably see those sharpen up slightly. Yeah, that's a bit better. 
Now, if you want to, you can have an overlay. It's got one already by default. As you can see, it's switched on. And if you want to, you can choose whether to display the title or the caption or the alt text or the description. So let's put it on title here. When I hover over, the title is going to pop up there. A crazy number. These are AI generated images. That's got a proper title. And if you wanted to add caption or a description, you can do that as well. And that's got the caption underneath on that particular one. And that one there. Just to show you, if we go back into our settings, select one of these images. Here's where you put your old text, as we said before. You can put your title in here. Put a caption in there. Might want to put a T on the beginning of there. And here's the description. And we'll go back. It's already inserted into our gallery. Now when I click on, I think it was this young lady, it's got the caption there. If we roll down to where we were for the overlay, it's got the caption. You can change it from the caption to the description if you want. And that's how you do it. We actually did this recently on a building site, a building site, a site for a, a construction company that uh, had their different projects here and it just had a description of the project and where it was. And they were really impressed with that. So that's those options there under the content. Style wise, you can put borders and things around your images if you want to. You can give them rounded corners if you want to. And if you've got square images, you can make them completely round if you want to. And I'll show you that when we do our little filter gallery in a minute. You can have a little hover animation. Select one here. There's plenty to choose from if we choose a zoom in perhaps it's now zooming in when they hover over it and there's a few to choose from there if you put an overlay on overlay color let's throw a silly color in there i'm probably not going to have an overlay i just like that darkening down effect but let's have it on hover let's select a crazy color like red you see it's got a red overlay you can blend it with the image itself if you want to. And there's all kind to do. For instance, if I multiply that red and now hover over it, it multiplies it with that image there. And they've got some crazy ones like luminosity and things like that. You can get some pretty wild effects going on. I'll leave it on multiply. And you can choose the way that that animates in. For instance, if you could have it slide right, slide left, slide up, slide down. Let's have one slide down, perhaps. Now when I hover over, that red effect is sliding. When we let go, it's sliding down. Where we put our mouse on there, it's sliding up. Again, that's nice, but I really don't want that on my site today. I think we just actually had a slightly dark color in there. Try that. Yeah, that works for me. Great. Okay. And content here. You can align things left, right, center. There really isn't much going on here. For instance, if I align that left, now we hover, it's aligned left. Obviously, right's right. By default, it's in the middle. You could have it at the top, or you could have it at the bottom. I think when we did that construction site, we had it middle, bottom, and it had the name of the site and where it was there, a little description. But that's entirely up to you. I think I'm going to leave it middle, center. Works perfectly for me. And you can choose colors for your title and for your description. I'm going to leave mine just as it is. That works perfectly for me. So that on its own is a beautiful little gallery. I really like it. But also, like I said before, you can have it filter. So if we've got another little section down here, let's go back. We'll add another gallery module. Again, roll on down to the pro. There's the gallery module. This time, I'm going to select multiple. And by default, it puts a little all in there that has an underline on it. It's going to show all the images at once. So let's start our first gallery here. And we'll call this one people. We'll add some images. There's six people right there. Ah, seven, eight, nine, that'll do. 
and it's the same things with the alt text and captions and things like that we'll pop them in there obviously put them the way around that you want yours we're seeing them all at the moment if i go on to people it'll just show the people but there will be no difference because that's the only one we got at the moment now again we've got order by default we've got lazy load which i think is a great thing layout you could have them in a grid i do like the grid and again you can justify we'll have the masonry for that one but i'm going to leave mine on grid for this today i'm going to pop it in the three columns because i've got nine images on each so i'm going to put a three in there if i roll this up that'll work perfectly again you've got the same spacing options and the media file light box if you want to put that one on now here's the great thing aspect ratio at the moment we've got three to two which is great the images look fairly sharp there put it on one to one we're going to have squares i think it's a little bit blurry on some of these now so let's just up the resolution on these either medium or large yep that's a lot sharper as i was saying before if you want completely rounded images if we go over to our style border radius we can change it from picks to percentage and put a 50 in there you've got completely round pictures i mean some people just love round images like this and you've got all the same effects i'm going to change that back to how it was and show you how to build the rest of these great so let's go back to where we were which was under the content here here we got the filter bar this is the filter bar where it says the all or the people there if you don't want to show the all if you just want to have people and whatever else we're going to do there robots and ufos or whatever it is you can turn that off and the all will disappear it'll just show the ones that you've put in there if you have it on you can change the name right there as you can see it's got an underline you can change that to an overline up the top there double line framed background and obviously you can change that background color i'm going to take that off i'm going to leave it on none and we'll just change the colors for that active and the hover states overlay is exactly the same as we had before you can add the title and the background if you want to in the overlay yeah it looks like we've got a duplicate there that's okay and there's this lady that's got the description and the title there as you can see great well let's add a couple of more galleries let's go back to our content here into the setting we'll add a new one and i'm not going to change the settings on any of these and we'll call this robots i think i did last time because that's what i've got image wise we'll select the images again i'm going to put nine in there And we'll pop those in. We'll slide back up to the top there. Okay, well, we got our little filters there. If we now go over to our style, again, we've got borders and things like that. I'm not going to do anything with those at the moment. I'm just going to go straight down to the filter bar because that's the only thing we haven't really looked at here. Normal color. Let's make it sort of dark gray. When they hover over it, let's make it a light blue. I'm going to copy that color. And for the active one, the one that you're on, I'm going to use that same color. I'm just going to paste the hex code in there. Fantastic. Now you can choose about the space between the filters here. Make them closer or further apart. Fairly happy with that. I guess we could spread them out a little bit. And we've got a gap here in pixels where you can push the gallery down or bring it up closer. I'm fairly happy with all that. So let's save our changes here. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And we'll take a look. And here we have it. Here's the first one that we looked at. Just a regular justified gallery there. I really do like that and it's lazy loading the images then down below here 
we've got our next one with the filters. And by default, it's showing the all, but you know how to turn that off if you don't want to show the all there. Let's just drag it up a little bit. Now we've got people. We've got robots. And we've got places. And that is an awesome little feature to have on your website. It really is. Like I say, we use this practically. We've used it in a few different sites, actually, but most recently on that construction website. So there you go, guys. There is the Elementor Pro Gallery, and it really is great. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.